Cozy Bird, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. Today, we are heading into what might be the final level in the Flames of the Nether DLC, the Nether Fortress. We've completed everything else surrounding it, gotten a bunch of secret levels and stuff unlocked, so I can only imagine this is the last section. I guess we'll find out as we hop in, and let's see, it says it's a secret mission. Like, this over here was a secret mission, that was a normal level. This was a normal level? No, that was a secret mission. So what's odd about it is I guess there really wasn't like a final boss, which is weird. So there's one, two, three normal levels and then one, two, three secret levels. Let's try it though. Maybe we'll find even more inside. You never know. So the Nether Fortress, River of Fire. The Nether is a place of scarce resources, but one thing is abundant, lava. All those who want to survive must find a way around its scalding surface. Finding a safe path to reach your goal is not for the faint of heart or those afraid of a little hard work. So let's go for it. What might be the final level of this DLC and hopefully it goes well. We do have an unknown artifact, so hopefully that's the one we discover, but you know, if we find anything, I'm pretty happy with it. Can I jump up? I could, but it could be a challenge. So maybe I'll just keep with normal difficulty for now and we'll just try to get through it. The Nether Fortress. The nether fortress before you is protected not just by walls and fortifications, but by an endless supply of deadly lava. Your only hope is to find a safe path that leaves you unscorched and ready to face the challenges within. Ooh. So a pretty foreboding start to our little adventure here. Find the diamond key. Will do. So I feel like we've been really perfecting our current level setup or our current like ability setup quite well. So hopefully we can add to that in today's episode, maybe find some cool stuff. But even if not, we get some level ups, we get more powerful that way. But if we have some souls, we can burn through those enchanted enemies, no problem. That was actually really easy. So I could go into something like this to find the diamond key. Oh my, was that? No, okay, yeah, there is a gas somewhere but I think I need to try to find some, oh my. If I could get some souls really quickly, I think that's what'll save me in this situation because if not, this is gonna be really difficult. Enemies are coming in everywhere though, and it is packing a punch. Oh my goodness. Okay, fire some arrows. Uh, Go, go, go. This is already tough. I'm very happy I didn't choose, uh, oh no, I might die. But a higher difficulty would have been even more brutal. So I'm glad we didn't go for that. I think for right now, first, is there anything cool back here? We get ourselves a cog crossbow, and I can use my potion. Here's my chance. Go back to the gas and just blast him. And luckily he missed me. I still end up getting pelted by the end of it. Uh, But come on, maybe we can survive this. Got it. Oh, pork, I needed that. I really needed that, so that was good. Oh, some more of it. Oh my goodness, it just doesn't stop. Ah! Oh, there's some more, there's some more. Somehow we survived it all. That was wild. And how are we doing? This is definitely a proper maze, but I just wanna get rid of those enemies and then we'll turn back because there are some other dead ends that I can discover where there'll be plenty of enemies waiting for me, huh? It's the blazes that are giving me such a problem, I think. So we could focus on getting rid of them first. Maybe not too bad of an idea. Oh gosh, the big guy's chasing me. Because the blazes have that fire damage and if you stand in the fire, it does a lot of damage as well. Okay, so there's that section done. How are we doing things? We have 10 chests to find, two of them already found. So we'll get there. So here's a potential exit for us, but what will this have? Whoa, okay, it has mob spawners. Let's destroy those as fast as I can. Whoa, there's that flame. Doing a lot more. Oh my goodness, it doesn't stop. Wow, uh, uh, I need that food. I need that food, I might still die. Oh no, wait, there's too many enemies. There's just so many of them, even with the spawner gone. Well, there's our first life. We will have to be very careful then, because we can't let that happen too many more times. Jeez. When they all attack at once, it's just so difficult to do anything about. But there we go, for clearing out all those enemies, we get yet another chest. That's always appreciated. Okay, so that's all good and dandy. We are good to 
head back through here and take a look at the map. So we have that path and a path over there still to poke our heads around before we go back down the main way. I'll use my potion now since it's restored. And there's another spawner, oh boy. Okay, but I didn't get stuck in the fire this time when using that, so that's good. Is this something I can go into? I guess not. Imagine if we find another secret level entrance out in one of these. Because we've found now secret levels within secret levels, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we got it. I am trying to rebuild my emeralds. I spent just about all of them in the last episode. Yeah, we were down here before. So now we've explored everything properly, we can continue forward. And even then, just ahead, there are even more splits to the path. We'll have to go to the right for now. Some of these guys, I guess we damaged when we were blasting enemies before. Oh my, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We dealt with it pretty quickly. So back this way. Still haven't found that diamond key. That's gotta be waiting for me somewhere, right? There is another potential place to get the key there, but I think I'll save that for a moment because we have not one, but two spawners to get over to. Okay, I can sort of see yeah, chop both of them once. Don't you dare. Got it. Dodge out of that thing, please. And there's another blaze up there. They are just everywhere and they are just so happy to pelt me with, with fire and pain and agony. There we go. Looks like all of them to me. And there's a little chest sort of hidden in the corner. So what's going on down that, that one way here? It's another dead end, so that means there'll be some bonus stuff. We might get bombarded by blazes. And I don't have a ton of arrows. Oh my gosh. I might die again. It's gonna be close. What do I get, some new armor? More blazes hunt me down. Ah, uh, it's, it's the spawners again. I might just have to back up and wait for a potion. Because I don't see how else I'm destroying those things. Because I just cannot get close enough without it being a huge, huge issue. But I almost have it, almost have it ready. Go, and then destroy them both. Got it. That was actually really good. I didn't lose too much health for it either. So I can just slice and dice those guys. And we can get out of here. Man, oh man. Oh, and there's another blaze waiting for me. As if I wasn't sick of them already. And is there anything extra up here? Another spawner, what do you know? So I haven't been able to stay too far ahead on souls because of all this, which hopefully will change over time, but for right now it is quite a challenge. And now I'm actually out of arrows too, which really makes things difficult. Grab that for sure. I mean, luckily, my sword gives a lot of souls, but I lose a lot of health approaching them in that way. Got it. And there's another dead end over here. Here it goes again. Let's see if I can't just slice this one. I just don't think it's worth it. The amount of health we stand to lose from it, it's too much. So the amount of chests going up is significant too. We're up to 12 now, but we're, we're halfway there, seven out of 12. It's more than halfway. Nothing over there. This area sure is spooky though. I mean, obviously that's been pretty consistent through the nether, but no different here at the least, you know? Oh my gosh, come on. This is where I'm starting to think maybe the scythe wouldn't be so bad right now. Cause this has been great for the damage it gives. Oh no, okay, hold on. They are firing at me like crazy. Well, we did get through it just barely. I almost lost some more lives there, but I really need to avoid doing that. Come on. Got it. Okay, good, good, good. Once again, I'm super low on health. If I could get a level up though, that'd be a nice, easy, free restore. Oh no. Uh, hide over here for now. And then get it. 
Okay, okay, we're fine. And a bunch of pots to get for it. There is tons to gain out of this level. That's for sure. Tossing that over. It only gets a few of them. But it sure is better than nothing. Come on. Oh, so good, so good. Getting them done in one quick blast like that too is huge. But oh, there's a chest down there. How do I reach that? Not quite sure. Oh no. I'm tossing it up. Please no, stay in the blast radius. Darn. I don't think I hit anyone with that. Still don't see a way down to that chest. There must be a way to lower it. A new objective is to lower, I feel like I might have missed some stuff before though. I might have to backtrack at some point in this level because we definitely missed a considerable amount. Cool. Getting rid of the pigs for now. Pretty simple to do that. Because we're still off to find the diamond key, yeah, so. What do I do to get this? Not that, um, whoa, 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 I can do that, but I'm on fire now, and I'm gonna die. That is so silly. That's not what I wanted at all. I didn't realize I could go through the lava like that. I thought it would just immediately send me back to where I was. Oh, get rid of that super quick. So at the least, let's continue forward, get the diamond key, and see what we can do from there. Because all these are opened. We defeated all the enemies within, I think. Back over a thousand emeralds. Oh, oh. Is that where we were? Is that where we started? It's sort of hard to tell, but there's the diamond key and some supplies for us. Not a ton, but I'll take it. Yeah, I think it is. If I were to run back down here real quick. Yep, I understand where we are. That is a whole party of them over there. So I guess I should get as many of their attentions as I can and just mow them down. That was actually really good. Because this is where we started the level, right? Maybe. Oh, more of them are spawning. As if I need more of that. Okay, so definitely use that to open the door. More of them were gonna spawn, but that canceled it, huh? Haven't seen that before. Whoa, and these guys just popped up like nothing. Also, I've never seen that before. So we're supposed to go in there. So you know what that means? I'm going to explore every other area I possibly can before doing so. Got it. And that's gonna open this area up actually without too much of a trouble. There's not too many enemies. So what is this whole bonus zone? Hopefully something good. So far we got some good looking chests. Oh no, so many enemies out, oh my goodness. Okay, move, move, move. Potion, and just try to blast some people, but it's not high up enough. See, I need to be up there and they need to be down here. Just not fair, come on, come on. I cannot die again. I'm going to end up losing and having to start everything over if that happens. Okay, that was good. And there's some food up there. Come on, I think I got it. I think that's everyone. Excellent. Wow, that was close. What do we got here? Uh, Reinforced mail, nice. I'll take this. And I guess we're good to go back now. We're supposed to be going into that one. But instead, I'll go up here, take a look around. So I can't go through this, but I think it'll be the same deal as what we just explored, where we will have to go up that way. Yeah, and hopefully doing all that will lower the... I see, I see. Okay. So yeah, let's get back to it. In through that cave, get some stuff done, get that key. And this one's gonna be quite large as well. Not too much of a surprise at this point, but good to know. Oh, another one. Okay, no, no, get the blaze before he gets me. We got it, we got it. When it's just one or two blazes, it's not too bad. But when it's a whole set of them, that's when it becomes a problem. Oh, and I can hit it from here, that's convenient. Got him. So those are done. 
Interesting that we just haven't seen too many spawners at all in this game, and now they're all over the place in this level. They're like an active theme. Let's see how that changes. Another broken saw blade. And what's in here? Oh, these are always challenging. So let's run up quick and just blast it. Immediately just gotta blast it, get the upper hand. Or the upper hoof, I suppose. Oh no, oh no. I'm out of souls now, which could be a huge problem, but they're closing in on me. I see some food down there I would love to get, but I need to do that and then blast them. Oh, no way. This is so tough. And it's gonna be such a pain if we end up losing here because there's a lot I'll have to, whoa, what happened? That's not what I wanted to do. Oh gosh. There's still so much, there's still so much in this level and we've done so much already. It'll just be such a pain to go through it all again. But I got through that, it's our last chance. We cannot die again. I need to be particularly careful about everything. So what level are we currently, I wonder? Hmm. Cause it looks like that all loops around. So it'll be fine if we just run over and start blasting. Level 65, going on 66. Got it. And there might be points where we just have to say forget it and just run. Cause I could, I, I use my potion there. So if I could just keep my health up a little bit and look around and then we'll go into that area. That might be for the best. Cause I need to earn up souls anyways. Try to get some of this. Oh no. And I'm losing health again. Just one swipe from those guys does so, so much. Okay, you know what? Use the potion. We have a decent amount of souls. I just need to run over and then blast it. Okay, everything's on an even plane this time. So you think that means it should be nice and fair for me. I guess we'll see. There, there are some Emeralds up there that were just stuck. Oh, the pork. Grab the pork for sure. And just one more. Gotcha. So I'm sort of on hyperdrive right now, just trying to get everything done, trying to be super efficient and super careful. We need one more chest before we've gotten everything so far, but I'm sure more will be added soon. That's usually how it works. So. Let's see, okay, definitely tossing that down there. Oh man. And we get our level up finally, so that'll give us some extra health. I need to get up here and slice and dice this thing as much as possible. There we go. Same deal over here. Got it. Oh man, another one. They just don't stop with these. At least the rewards for this level have been super duper fruitful. Four weapons, eight uh, arrow or bows, and then five pieces of armor. It's just crazy. They give you so much. There's still so much more left to survive, and I can't really blast simple enemies like that anymore. I need to actually attack them normally so that we can get more souls. Because I really need some more souls. Ooh, I dodged that, that was pretty good. Cause who knows what'll be at the end of this. Maybe there'll be a huge boss fight or something. I really hope not, but it's certainly possible. Okay, I dodged that just barely. Not too many enemies in that one. And yeah, just blast them. Don't wanna deal with that at all. That's everything for this corner of the, the cave. I do see some more heading over here. Okay, those are two enemies we'll be getting souls from. Sometimes it's also good to just, oh, not let that happen. Cause just one or two of the wither skeletons hitting me makes me lose so much health. So very much health. But we can lower their health with the artifact and then finish them off with our sword or arrows. That also is pretty big. Oh man, get the pig. Sometimes they'll drop health for generators.
Oh man, gonna use my potion now because I don't wanna get too low. See, now I get that. Probably should have waited before picking it up. Well, we're back to being full on souls. So things do get hairy here. I think I'll be okay. I think this is the last enemy. Yeah, I don't see anything else. I heard a chest spawn in right over this way. Another broken saw blade. Oh, that's the way we're supposed to go for the level. So I can actually leave that, head back over here, because yeah, there's still so much more left to find. Why did this get blocked off? There's nothing in there. That's odd. Guess they just forgot to put something in that one. Ooh, grab the food. That is becoming so valuable now, is just having that extra food spawn in. So what's up this staircase? Another spawner. Not anymore. I'm pretty sure we've defeated more spawners in this level than we have throughout the rest of our series so far. That's how many spawners have been here. So another, another wall being blocked off. We're pretty close to being full on souls anyway, so if we could just survive this encounter, get another chest. We're at 19 out of 20. Run up here, blast these spawners. Oh, get out of the, the heat, the heat, no, no, no. No, 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 no. We gotta be fast with this and be very careful. Oh my goodness, there's fire everywhere. They don't know where I am at the moment, so slice one of them and go back to attacking them. I probably could have hung out there a lot longer. This is so unfair sometimes, oh my goodness. I might die. Come on, don't die, don't die, don't die. Ooh. Oh, the, the, no, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck! I didn't know I couldn't go through the pots. Oh, that is the worst! Just 20 minutes down the drain. I mean, I guess we get to keep our levels and I think the things we collected along the way, but still, that is so much time and work. Okay, we do get to keep that stuff. I might just do a lower level so we can get through it again because this is such a time investment. So yeah, back into the nether fortress, but this time we'll do something like this. I wish we could go in between because that jump from 45 to 51 is pretty big. Whoa, okay, so I'm still catching up to where I was, but as you can see, I just got myself a new unique weapon. We have so many slots for weapons right now. We have the Pride of the Piglins. Whoa, it's a chance to fire piercing shots and it's a wind up attack. I'll take a look at that later. Okay, so I think I'm more or less caught up to where I was. I have reached level 67 just a moment ago, so overall I think we're doing pretty good. Um, lowering the difficulty definitely made a difference, but I have sort of had some brief, brief, close calls, so I'm hoping to avoid those as much as I can, but it still might take some effort. So it looks like I even missed some stuff back here really quick. Uh, that, and I think that's it. Okay, just one pot. Now we can head down here and see what else might be in store for us. See this one guy, but that's not gonna get him. And it looks like there's probably gonna be a good few enemies in this big open area, right? Or not. Hmm. I'm just trying to approach things slowly and see what we end up facing up against. No need to rush into anything. So I'm supposed to be going the other direction, so this is good for now. I'm trying to keep to the upper end of my soul count. And where are they spawning in at? Whenever it's just one enemy spawning in or two, I wanna try to slice them down as soon as possible because it's when they all start stacking up and all firing at me at once that it becomes really, really hard to survive. Okay, so we want to head this way for now. I'll stay on the upper part. Let's get through faster. Was there anything over here? I do wonder. I guess maybe just an alternative path. That did not accomplish anything. Ooh, here we go, here we go. So you right there, grab you. I shot the blaze off the side. Honestly, I'm not complaining. Blazes are so frustrating. Got it. And these piglins with the potions have been spawning in this run. They were not spawning in in our last attempt at this level. So they are difficult enemies. So it's interesting that they're spawning in now with the easier version. Guess it wasn't easy enough after all. Okay, so let's get rid of some of these guys, but I'm supposed to be going up and to the right, it seems, so. We're gonna go the other directions instead, as per usual. I don't know if there'll be too much to find, but a spawner. 
so I'll get rid of it. We found 24 out of 26 chests, so it really shows you how huge and sprawling this level is. Okay, so down this way. Another spawner. You can clear it out real fast, though. So hey, we might even be able to reach level 68 in today's episode if this level keeps going for as long as it has, but I can only imagine we're more than halfway through it, right? Maybe I shouldn't be putting that out there, I might be wrong. Guess we'll see. Hmm. Got it. And the lava here hasn't lowered, and that was sort of something, that's the one thing I've died on in this level was that one chest that I had to go into the lava for. I couldn't find any other way to get to it. So we're gonna extend the drawbridge. Oh, and the lava's lowering here, so that's good. Whoa, can I stand on that? I guess I can. It's all charred by the lava, that is so cool. That is so many enemies. But I suppose I could open the golden gate with that. Man, oh man, that is crazy. Oh, a couple more piglins up this way in a blaze. Cause that's where we just came from. Got him. And we're good to go. So what's going on inside of here? We're trying to find the, I guess, this thing? And the golden key. There we go. Now a lot of enemies are probably going to try to spawn in to stop us from getting to the area, but the lava is flowing around here. I know that the key just separated from me, but I need to get rid of them first anyways. Gotcha. You're not going far on my watch, but just more spawn in, that's not fair. Come on. Maybe that's just something that happens, because I thought like that was happening before, too. Where enemies were just continuously spawning in. Maybe as long as we have the key, that just will keep happening. I'm out of souls, though, so I really need to move it now. So, cash that in. Getting some of these guys as much as I can. Really gotta restore those souls. And that gives me at least a little bit. So what is this about? We are in the center of the stronghold, it seems. We can pull this lever. Uh-oh. Uh, what is that gonna do? Whoa, 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 flames popping out of everywhere. Uh, survive the fight in the nether fortress. Oh, there's some blazes in the fire, in the flames. <laughs> blazes in the blaze. Gotcha. Oh man, got it. I gotta keep my souls, so let's not go too crazy with that. Whoa, wildfire spawning in. I do wanna blast through him as soon as I can because in my previous experiences, wildfire is not fun to be with. It is interesting how sometimes we'll take out enemies that aren't pigmen or piglins or whatever, and then they will make an oink noise and drop the ham. So it just, are they piglins in disguise or something? Is that the idea? That's the end of the level right there. So what's over this way? There's more. Maybe we could find another secret. It's also saying that there's something up here, but clearly there isn't. That's odd. Another spawner just for the road, right? You just gotta say goodbye to one more spawner. So we found all 26 chests. I think that's finally it. We survived what has been one of the most difficult levels yet. Come on, let's go through. See, there's something over there. We got it! Victory! So I think as far as I can tell, that is every level in the Flames of the Nether DLC. I'll have to check at some point, but man, what an experience it has been. Very cool DLC, for sure. And we get ourselves the Nether Forger's completed. We have uh, also got the Ghost Cloak, uh, Artifact, which, you know, it's a common, but if it's better than the one I have, it's awesome. It's actually no different whatsoever. So I guess that means that the least I can salvage it for slightly more emeralds. I don't know what else to do with it. So yeah, let's go ahead and salvage most of this stuff. I just don't need it. A lot of these uh, broken saw blades. But I did get this, Pride of the Piglins. I definitely wanna check that out in just a moment. I'm just going to Salvage through all of this first. Okay, there's so many, we got so 
so many with all those chests, and especially since we had to retry halfway through. It's crazy. Um, got it, and got it. So that's gonna be a lot more emeralds for us. We'll wanna take a look at this one then. So once again, it is the Pride of the Piglins found in the farthest reaches of the Nether. The Pride of the Piglins is both vintage and vicious. 282 damage, range damage, chance to fire piercing shots and a wind up attack. There's a different uh, benefits there. So it is a little bit lower in terms of things, but actually it's it's not really. Like, this is a higher power, but you're trading a lot for the benefits you get for that, that specific weapon. But as you can see, how this works with recharging. You got one out of five, two out of five, and then it keeps going up and up. And then boom, boom, boom. Which, this does not have the wind up attack, but over time, it, it's not as much, but I think that you can fire more consistently, consistently, which can definitely help. And I also need to cycle through this armor and salvage the most of this because it just gives damage reduction and stuff. So does the Luxury Merchant have anything for us? We do have a unique Battle Staff of Terror. This staff overwhelms its target in battle to explosive effect. It has a huge range of damage, stylish combo, and defeat, defeated mobs explode. I definitely want to get that. So let's purchase that for some emeralds. Uh, And here it is. So I want to equip that one and just sort of see what this is like. Whoa. I love it. So if we were to defeat a mob, I want to pet the dog. There you go. Uh, if we were to defeat, defeat a mob, it'll explode. So obviously we have a certain synergy in mind right now, but having all these unique weapons built up is going to be great for building different kinds of setups later on. Uh, for right now, I will switch that back over and I will transfer that to storage. I guess we'll transfer that to, actually no, I, I want this back. There you go. Um, so looking pretty good. Our storage is slowly filling up. I don't know if there's a true maximum to it if we could buy some more somewhere, but I'm not seeing too much there. We do have, this is good to go again. I wanna see what it's at. It's at 60. I'm just gonna keep cycling those in there if I can. It's only 115, it's not very expensive. So as long as I can keep winning more missions on adventure difficulty, we'll get those higher and higher and that'll make it better and better. I don't know if there's too much more I wanted to do in today's episode then. I will definitely double check at some point to make sure that we've completed all the other uh, Flames in the Nether DLC levels. If there's not any I might have missed or some secret exits or something, because it's weird that this didn't have a final boss, right? It was just all these levels, which were a lot of fun, but it's probably my biggest uh, review point of this one is that there doesn't seem to be some kind of big final boss, which most of them would have. That's a bit of a disappointment. But next episode, we'll be getting started with this DLC, which I know has a cutscene. I accidentally clicked it before, but I cut it out of the video because I wanted to save it for this. So we'll be taking a look at that at some point. It's going through the end and exploring all that. That'll be a ton of fun. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.